Marty Mark, the sophomores from Kenton, Ohio. Dad Mike, longtime high school coach in Ohio, now at Glendale High School in Springfield. It's a football family, a confident sophomore QB. Matty Mock needs to play well today, make good decisions. He's a very mobile quarterback, but I think the success of the Tigers today, Carter, is going to rely largely on his ability to stay in the pocket and throw some shots downfield. That's the tight end, Colkin, in motion on first down. Matty Mock flushed out of the pocket on first down. Elusive scampers for a few yards, and there's a flat. It's the last game against South Carolina. Second and eight. Mock in the pocket. Misses. Mock on third and eight. Pressured out again. Floyd chases him. Mock has to dump it to the sidelines. Downfield. It is picked off. Gurley showing up strong here early. Can Missouri's defense respond? Keep your eye right here on Quincy Mauger. He's going to get depth before the snap. What Jeremy Pruitt, the defensive coordinator, told us is that he wanted to change the picture on Matty Mock. Mock screen. Murphy incomplete. Picked off again. But these plays can only work if you hit the receiver in stride. It hits Murphy in his hands, but he has to jump. It wasn't a well-thrown ball, and because of that, it's another turnover early for Missouri. Matty Mock has yet to complete a pass. He's thrown two interceptions. Sophomore QB finally has a completion. Swing it to the outside for Jamon Moore, the redshirt freshman. First and ten. Mock rolling out of the pocket, chased by Floyd again, so throws it down the sideline. It's hard for him to see sometimes over his offensive line, and that's hard for quarterbacks. So Georgia wanted to be able to create some pressure in front of him to intermediate routes is a challenge at times. On third and 11, staying in the pocket, now he dances. Mock just gets rid of it downfield. It was really their challenge last year. Great protection up front by Missouri. But look, Matty Mock has nowhere to be able to throw the football. Two interceptions from the sophomore QB. Set to throw again on second down, and there is the second completion of the game. Without getting any points, they've got to find a rhythm offensively. On third and five. Looked like he wanted to toss it, and the Bulldogs have it blown up. Nowhere to go. They've got to get something going here. Mock over the middle, incomplete. Long drop for Mock. Pressure again out of the pocket, and he's sacked. Keep your eye on the defensive backs for Georgia and the pressure up front. There's nowhere for Matty Mock to be able to throw the football. Just some simple stunts and then Michael Floyd turning the corner, helping to flush him. Just great job by Toby Johnson. That entire front four got pressure. Can score quickly, but they've got to have some success here on first down. Complete. Goes back to Sasser. And they had a big completion early on and then scored extremely quickly. Let's see if that last play is good enough for them to do that here. Back-to-back -back completions, huge ovation. Dog showing pressure. Mock. It is he throws by Floyd. Loose ball. Waiting word, and it is Georgia football. By Taylor Chapel. Just a speed rush. He dips his shoulder. Hits the ball right as Matty Mock throws it. Awfully, awfully close. Well, as it stands now, Floyd gets the pressure. Jordan Jenkins gets the fumble recovery. But it the ruling on the field is confirmed. Fresh out. Call a timeout to give yourself some time. So it's first down Missouri, but Mark pressured. Scrambling out. There is a flag down. Deep shot. Maddie Mock. He heaves it. Long dropped. A sure touchdown. Man 
coverage again these receivers have to be able to beat this look second and two Back over the middle complete jimmy hunt into georgia territory on that soft coverage 24 yards best play of the day offensively for mizzou Back to hunt. We had just mentioned that man coverage. He comes from the left side of the screen. Unacceptable. Missouri. He heard all. Let's go back to the INT. Jimmy Hunt was one of the players that when we were here on Thursday at practice, I was impressed in from it up front. Lock another INT last time they had the football. Screen back to Bud Sasser, the trusted target for three. For the offensive line as well. out by Floyd again scrambling gets about five when it's not there he pulls the ball right away he's not looking anywhere else when it's not there he doesn't like what he sees he drugged inside the carrier dome Lock. incomplete for the Tiger offense second down and Mark is pressured again looking for help down field he's it caught First down, Mizzou in Bulldog territory. Back to the last play. You see right there becomes a scramble drill. What you're taught as a receiver is mirror the quarterback. Show him your numbers and look at the accuracy on that ball. The Missouri offensive line shuffled a little bit after an injury to Anthony Gaddy. Running a time here on second and eight. Downfield covered up, so now here's Mark scrambling. At the 45, he's going to hit Intercepted again. Matty Mock throws another pick. It's Dominic Sanders who brings it back this time. Mock trying to go back to the well. You cannot throw the football across your body, especially downfield. That's when bad things happen. Say the dynasty is over. They're the seventh ranked team in the country. If there's another, <laughs> I mean, just a, a couple of losses ahead of them, Alabama's right back in the college football playoff picture. And it's only. Here we go is Missouri versus Auburn, the SEC championship game. They need to play a lot better if they got any shot to get back there. Mock is chased out of bounds. He goes crashing out. 